Today you'll be doing multiplying radical expressions on target 5D. Let's just jump right into it. When you're multiplying radical expressions, you multiply the coefficients, the numbers on the outside together, and the numbers on the inside underneath the radicals together. In our first problem, there's no numbers on the outside. We can put ones there if you'd like, but it's not needed. So it's not going to need it. So we have square root of 6 times square root of 15. They're both square roots, so you can multiply like square roots together. You cannot multiply them together if they're not like. So we have both square root of 2's, or square roots. So we're going to have, what you do is just multiply what's underneath, 6 times 15. Square root of 90, 90 can be broke down, 9 times 10. We're going to simplify this, which you've done in past, past lessons. We have square root, so I'm looking for pairs. 3 and no other pair. 5 times 2 is 10. And 3 square root of 10 is your simplified answer between multiplying those two. Next, we, are, we have a monomial times a binomial. The last problem, you had two monomials together, multiply together. It's a monomial, square root of 10, or we're multiplying by a binomial, 5 square root of 2. What you do, multiply both of them, you're just distributing like you've done before. You have 5, square, five times the square root of 10 is 5 square root of 10. You can't actually combine them 5 times 10, you can't do that. 5 is on the outside, that's the coefficient, and that's square root of 10. Plus, and it's square root of 10 times square root of 2, that's 10 times 2. You could write 20 there if you'd like. We have 5 square root of 10 plus 10 times square root of 2 is square root of 20. At this step, you should try to simplify if you can. Simplify each term. So I look at the first term, 5 square root of 10. You're simplifying underneath the radicals. 10, that's 5 and 2. Those are not, there's no pairs there. So I can't simplify that. 20, and 4 and 5. I have 2 and 2. There's my pairs. Pair are twos. So we have comes five square root of ten plus pair of twos comes out two square root of five. From previous lessons, we know that these are not like terms. We have five square root of ten, and then we have two square root of five. Those are not like terms; they're different. So if you cannot combine them. You always have to be careful with that, but you don't, can't combine those not like terms. Our next problem we have. Simplifying another monomial times a binomial. A little bit more complex. We have the square root of 5 times a negative square root 2 square root of 5. Multiply those together, you get negative 2 on the outside. If you want to put a number here, you can put a 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. You got a square root of 5 times a square root of 5 is put them underneath. 5 times 5 plus. Distribute again, 1 times the square root of 1 square root of 5 plus or times 2 is 2 square root of 5. Simplify each term. And then look to simplify each radical. 25 is 5 and 5, or square root of 25 is 5. So that's negative 2 times 5. And then the second term, square root of 5, cannot be simplified. And let's clean this up a little bit more. Negative 2 times 5, 10. And then plus 2 square root of 5. Last example for 5D is of multiplying a binomial times a binomial. For this, you're using, if you want to use the FOIL method, I call it double distribution, I like it better, but it all gets the same results. You have to multiply first term times first term. So we have negative 2, and you have the 1 here, so that's negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. And square root 7r times 6 is 42r. And then you have, you also have to multiply the first term times the second term of the last one of the second binomial. 
So we have negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14. Square root 7r times 3r is 21r squared. And then we have, so that first term was distributed to both. Now I'm going to distribute this second term of the first binomial to the first term of the second binomial. I have a negative 5 times negative 1, 5. 3r times 6, 18r. And then we have to multiply the second term of the first binomial times the second term of the second binomial. So I have negative 5 times negative 7 is positive 35. 3r times 3r is 9r squared. Now I have to look to simplify each term. So I look at the first one, 42, 21 and 2, 7 and 3. Nothing can be simplified there, no, no pairs. So the second one I know 21 isn't because it's 7 and 3, but I have r squared, which is r and r. And there's your pair. That'll be, you'll be able to simplify that. 18 is 9 and 2. 3 and 3. So we have a pair of 3s there. R is just by itself with this 18R. So that cannot come out, cannot be simplified. 9 is 3 and 3. R squared is R and R. Now bring out what we can, simplify what we can. Yeah. First term, nothing can be simplified. Second term, it looks like a pair of R's can come out, so 14R and the square root of 21 stays inside. Third term, 3's can come out, so we have plus 5 times 3 stays underneath, is the 2 and the R, and plus a pair of threes comes out, so 35 times 3 times r, and there is nothing left for the square root, so we just leave it. No more square root, last term. We need to do some more simplifying. Nothing in the first term again. Nothing in the second term. 5 times 3 is 15. In the last term, 35 times 3 is 105. R. I look to see if there are any like terms in the problem. 42R, square root 42R, square root 2R. Nope. 1 square root 21, nothing else. That's it. That is the end of 5D, multiplying radicals. On 5E, dividing radical expressions. How to divide radical expressions, or why do we divide? The reason why we divide is because you have to, it's called rationalize the denominator. You cannot have an irrational number in a denominator. So we need to rationalize it, make it rational, make it either, usually, usually you're making it of Usually, usually you make it a whole number, an integer. So all you do when you're simplifying with a monomial in the denominator is it's pretty simple. You just take whatever your radical is, multiply the numerator by it, multiply the denominator by it. And this is how you multiply or how you rationalize the denominator of a monomial. So you have square root of 6 times the square root of 27. Quickly, and that is 162. And you have 2 in the denominator. Square root of 27 times square root of 27 is 729. We then take 162 and simplify it. So now we're simplifying the numerator and denominator. So let's do this. You do 162 off to the side. For the trees, if you want to do the tree method, 81. 
and Q. Let me erase that. 81 and 2. 81 is 9 and 9. You can stop there because we have pairs of 9s. You know, all I'm looking for are pairs with square roots. So, so square root of 162 becomes 9 square roots and 2 is left over. And then square root of 729, anytime you take two square roots, like square root of 27, times it by square root of 27, what that's going to do is it's going to become 27. So you have 2 times 27. So the square root of 729 is 27. Continuing this, I'm just going to multiply 2 times 27 is 54. And then you see 954 can be reduced. Both divide the top and bottom by 9. And you get square root of 2 on top. So it's an irrational number in the numerator, but our denominator becomes 6, which is a rational number. So that is called rationalizing to the denominator. So here we see again example 2. We see square root of 2. That is an irrational number in the denominator. Now we are dealing with binomials in the denominator. So what we need, now you can't just multiply by the denominator. You need to do something similar but a little bit different. We have the denominator right now is 4 plus the square root of 2. You need to make this switch it to a subtraction. So whatever the, whatever the radical is, the radical is positive, so it becomes negative when you multiply. When you multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing, because that's like multiplying by 1. So it really doesn't change the value of the problem. It just rationalize, helps you rationalize the denominator. So now we need to multiply the numerator together. So we have 4 times 4 is 16. Minus 4 times the square root of 2 is 4 squared of 2. Over. And then the denominators. Binomial times binomial. So you do 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times negative 2. We need a 4 squared of 2. Square root of 2 times 4. Positive 4 square root of 2. And square root of 2 times a negative square root of 2. Squared or minus square root of 4. I need to simplify now the numerator and denominator. The numerator, I cannot simplify. There's nothing to simplify with rad when it comes to radicals. And there's no like terms, so that's it there. The denominator, there's multiple things that are going on here. We have these middle terms can always cancel. Well, they should always cancel if you multiply in the order that I multiplied in. So we had 16, and then there is minus the square root of 4 is 2. And then one last step in the denominator, 16 minus 2 is 14. So 16 minus 14 is 4, 4 squared of 2 divided by 14. Oh, and here's this stupid hard thing again. We have these three terms. If those three terms are all divisible by the same number, we can simplify further. They're all divisible by 2. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So I have 8 minus 2 squared of 2 over 7. And that is your final answer. 7 is a rational number. And that is done.